Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will see me do a full set of long tapered square, um, semi-coffin, but tapered square, milky white acrylic nails. Um, my customer, who is my lovely god sister, she wanted the nails to be semi-clear, but not like a stark bright white. So I applied the acrylic on her ring fingers. I applied some opal mylar glitter that went on top of the milky white acrylic. And then I secured that with a clear acrylic. Um, only because when I file, I don't want to file away the glitter that was added. So I want to make sure that it's secured and safe. Remember that when you apply your acrylic, you don't want your acrylic to be running into your cuticle area. You want it to kind of place it about a third of an inch away from the cuticle area just so that when you go to blend and file, it won't be all over the skin.
Once I am done applying the acrylic to both hands, I'm going in with my file and I am sharpening the shape of the nails. Now, depending on what shape, you will or will not have to file as much. That's why I always pre-shape the nail tips before I apply the acrylic. So then after I apply the acrylic, it's not too much extra filing that I have to do. Remember when you are filing the sides of the nail, you want to try your best to file the same amount on each side. And you want to make sure that you're not just filing um, the tip of the nail and the middle of the nail. You want to pull all the way up from the edge of their fingertip all the way down to make sure that it's blended and it's even. Um, a lot of people were asking me why, why I file the top of the nail with the file, and that's just my method of blending. Um, I hand file and I use my electric file too. Um, I think that it allows the nail to have more of a tapered look, and my customers don't have an issue with how the nails look, and I love the way they look afterwards. So that's just how I do my filing, J just to make sure everything is blended and is smooth. Once I file, I'm going in with my e-file and I'm going to make sure that around the cuticle area is nice and clean. Make sure that it is not flooding the cuticle area and make sure everything is smooth, not bulky, but blending very well. After I use my e-file, I'm going to buff the nail, not completely smooth, but I'm going to make sure that it's just not rough to the touch. Um, right here, I'm flipping the hand upward and filing in the direction that the customer will be looking at their nails because there's two different views to the customer, which is my way and theirs. My way, the nails will look straight to me, but their way, it could look crooked. So I always turn the hand around just to make sure that from their point of view, the nails are straight from across as well. Once I'm done filing, I'm going to buff. Um, if you're applying a gel top coat, I tend to just wipe their hands down with alcohol. If they're just getting a regular um, polish, then I, I apply uh, cuticle oil and then allow them to go wash their hands. Make sure before you apply any type of polish, top coat, gel, that you make sure all of that dust is removed from the nail. You don't want anything under that polish that could leave a bumpy surface. Always keep things clean. So of course, to go with the nails, we added some bling. First, I just used my gelish top coat called Top It Off to make sure that the nails were shiny. After that, I'm wiping it off with alcohol um, just to make sure that it's not sticky still because um, some top coats come with a sticky layer. Um, after I did that, I apply my gems to the nail plates and I secure them. And then I apply my cuticle oil and my customer is on their way.
all right guys that's it thanks again for tuning in if you haven't please of course like comment subscribe and share and also give me your feedback in the comments let me know what you think of this color what do you think is a good trend for the winter time would you rock this set or would you not let me know what you think i really appreciate you guys stopping by and of course watching my videos please 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 give me your feedback and always remember glitter makes everything better so keep shining have a good one and stay tuned more fun and videos to come in 2019 see you later thanks